you won't see my cardboard creation because Floppy ate it! Hi, guys. Do you know why Sam's yelling? <gasps> oh! Was there a tornado or something? Naughty tornado! It was a hurricane named Fluffy! I've been trying to make a cardboard house for two days, but each time Fluffy comes and ruins everything! Poor Sammy. Who is this house for? For Gary the snail, of course! Huh, I think I know what's wrong. Tidy up and let's go. It's Fluffy who should tidy up. I think we've offended Fluffy because we've never made anything for him. Offended? Really, Sue? I am! Guys, do you think we offended Fluffy? Write in the comments. And? Well, we could make this giant labyrinth for him. Wow! Awesome! How are we going to make Fluffy explore the labyrinth? Like this. Or <laughs> we'll think of something else. Okay, convinced. Let's start our world-scale construction! Huh? Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Susie, wait for me! It will really be a world scale construction. Are you really gonna eyeball it? Hey, what will Fluffy do to us if we build him a lopsided labyrinth? <laughs> You're right. Let's measure the height of our labyrinth. Make it higher. You know how high cats can jump. Right onto the fridge. I hope you won't argue about the width. The walls have different height. Yes, it was just a test. We've measured this piece. Now we need to cut it out. It's better not to trust slimes with sharp objects. It's better not to trust slimes with sharp objects. Don't say that wasn't helping you. I've already cut out several pieces. Let's continue. Right, the height should be the same. Smile, Susie! Sam, why are you taking pictures? I'll send these photos to the Guinness Book of World Records! In the most troublesome craft in the world category? Laugh all you want. The Guinness Book of World Records is a collection of human achievements, animals, nature phenomena, and many other things. They collect data in different categories. For example, the biggest pumpkin was registered in Germany. It weighed 1,190 kilos. And the longest rain lasted for 247 days on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. And you can probably guess where they made the biggest pizza. In Italy, of course. They needed eight tons of mozzarella! I think that our cardboard labyrinth for Fluffy should be so big, it gets to the world records! Sue, are you still cutting the cardboard? I am, Sam. I think it's the last piece of our structure. Now we're going to start assembling the giant cat labyrinth. Finally! I thought it would take you a whole week. Start gluing! Before we start gluing, we need to fold several pieces, like this. Let me fold something too! No! Careful, Sam. No need to rush. We need the biggest labyrinth for the world records. You won't manage it on your own. Everything's under control, Susie! All the pieces are ready. Time to start assembling! All the pieces should be glued together neatly and securely. Sam, bring me the draft. Here! Take a good look and don't forget to make the exit. A labyrinth must always have an exit. <laughs> Did you think I could forget? I'm trying to help. You could say thank you. Sam, do you want to help me for real? Yes! What do I need to do? Draw, start, and finish to make sure Fluffy doesn't get lost. Oh, I thought it was going to be a serious task. Fine, I will. Start. Uh, it's a bit lopsided. I'll try again. Start. Uh, what? S-T-A-R-T! Uh, uh, I'll go print the word out. <laughs> Sue won't notice. <laughs> the cleverest Sam, the slyest slime. Guys, if you have ideas for a mini labyrinth, write them in the comments. I'm getting tired of this one. Ugh, we don't need a mini labyrinth, we need a record! Okay, I'm doing my best. Did you make the signs? Sue, here! It looks like they were drawn by a printer, not Sam. Doesn't matter, it's 
still pretty. Phew, we're almost done with the labyrinth. Here goes the last wall. Will Fluffy fit in here? <laughs> you did, so... Come here, buddy. It's ready! Let him in. Go, Fluffy, we believe in you. Fluffy seems a little puzzled. He wants to get out the easiest way. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll have to figure it out, buddy. Go, Fluffy, go! Go, Fluffy, go! He starts to move forward. <laughs> he looks like a snake here. Huh. <laughs> he doesn't look for the easiest solutions, does he? Clever Fluffy passes the first part. He continues. Huh. Do you think he can smell the way out? I don't know. Could be. He's building a new strategy. Hey, <laughs> no! Oh, go back, clever one. Fluffy, come on! You can find the real exit! Yes, yes, you're almost there, buddy! Come on! Is he lost? Uh, he'll manage. He's thinking real hard! And he's moving forward! Just a bit more! Yay! <laughs> Aw, Fluffy, you did great! Here's your just dessert. You are a champion, my friend. Dude, stop! I made some complex calculations. My thorough calculations show that we waste too much time putting out food for Fluffy. Let me check. Let's see. Well, I can't argue there. But we can solve this problem. I know one way to pour the whole pack of cat food into the bowl at a time. Wait! I need to make new calculations. So, one time, that works for us. Let's go and you'll tell me what your idea is. Let's go! Hello, guys! Hello, everyone! To make our craft today, we'll need cardboard. Are you suggesting feeding Fluffy with cardboard? Some of your ideas seem a bit... odd. Your ideas are odd. <laughs> I'm going to make a new craft out of cardboard. What are we gonna do? A cat food dispenser. Wow, that is really awesome! But how will it help us to feed Fluffy more rarely? It will be more possible to put the whole cat food pack in it. So the bowl will be filled automatically every time when our cat takes some food. The food will simply go downward and end up in a bowl. Hmm, I see. And what is that? A wall between rooms? It seems like a house with tiny rooms. Quite cramped. Although, here I could put my bed. And I guess behind this wall we'll put some cat food. Hmm. Actually, that is really comfortable. You can live right next to cat food and fill the bowl any time the cat eats from it. Sammy, it's not a place for living. Uh, have you seen my piece of paper with measurements? This one? Yes, thank you. Well, well, these parts we've got already. The next thing is a slide. Food will go down this slide and reach the bowl. Yay, a slide! Did you make this for me because I like sliding? So thank you! Now I'm gonna run! Sam, stop it! You have a very important mission to do. Bring me an empty bottle. Mission accepted. Now we're gonna make a water fountain to automatically refill not just the food supply, but also water. To make it, we need a piece like this. Let's install it inside here. Mission accomplished! Thanks, Sam. In the bottom of our bottle, we're making a hole. Guys, be very careful with the drill. Ask an adult to help you with this step. Also, we need a bottleneck from another bottle. We'll stick the second bottleneck right here. Wow! This one is a perfect bottle for friends! You can drink together at the same moment! So hurry up! Let's pour some soda into this bottle and have a competition! Who can drink more? Boing! <laughs> <laughs> How 
we know who drank more if we drink from one in the same bottle? No, Sam. This opening is needed to refill the water supply, and from the second one, it will flow into the bowl. <laughs> blow through this tiny hole. I don't think it's comfortable. All water will just come out at once and finish quickly. Why do we even need a cap if it's holy? The water will flow through a tube, which we set into the cap, and put it on the bottle. Sam, could you bring me a container for water, please? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <laughs> Great, Sammy. We need this boat. Except the water will not be outside the boat, but in it. Oh, no! Now this vial takes all the room in my house. <laughs> it's hardly possible to use this structure as a house, Sam, because then Fluffy can eat you as well. Fluffy, eat me? Ugh, we're friends, right, Fluffy? Now we can cover the bottle and the section for food. I guess you made a mistake. The food will fall out through these holes! Nope. We will cover up the windows with transparent plastic and it will be easy to see through them how much food remains. Oh, all right. Now everything is perfect. All that's left to do is set this wall right here. Done! Is that all? Wow, what a simple construction. And a great one. Guys, do you like today's craft? Write in the comments. Can you help me one more time? Bring the cat food, please. Of course, will do. And you guys, please write in the comments about your pets and their favorite food. Great, Sam. Give it to me. Now we're going to fill our dispenser. And here's a treat for Fluffy. Phew, this is such an awesome dispenser. We only need to add some water. Got it, got it, on my way. Here's the water. Perfect. Let's open our bottle and set a funnel. Uh, even this funnel reminds me of a slide. It seems I haven't been to a water park for a long time. Let's fill our bottle with water. Look, water is flowing to the bowl. Oh, no, now it will spill out. Relax, <laughs> Sammy. You've learned math formulas, but not physics. Water will fill the bowl till a certain level. Indeed, it stopped flowing. Now we only need to decorate our dispenser. Oh, yes. It's the most important step. Give a thumbs up if you think the same, guys. And look, through these windows, we will always see how much food and water remains. I think it fits our interior perfectly. Right, and it will save us a whole lot of time. Look, Fluffy is already here to try the new dispenser. Aw, I bet he loves it. Phew, we did a great job today. Fluffy, come here. So what do you think about your new feeder? We did our best with Sam. I think Fluffy approves. <laughs>